I'm sure you've heard of like Mid Journey, Leonardo, Bing, and all that stuff. Even though I love Mid Journey, I think it's one of the most sophisticated tools out there to generate images. But the sad part is it's not free and you have to pay to even try. Let's look at the next best option if you want to play around with the tool. To do that, we're going to use this tool by Microsoft. So Microsoft is in partnership with OpenAI. They have a lot of synergy going. I hate using the word, but I couldn't come up with any other word. So. And this is a tool that uses Dolly 3 technology by OpenAI. What you want to do is you want to go to the website called bing.com forward slash create. This will take us to the Microsoft's Dolly image generator tool. You start off with about 100 credits. I think they reset every month. So these are plenty for anyone who doesn't use this day in, day out. I mean, of course, if you're a power user, I would still recommend using Midjourney and paying 20 bucks for it. It's absolutely worth it. But you can use these tools to create some really cool graphics. So I'm going to use this prompt called product mock-up decorated with tea leaves, Indian herbs, and spices with the words organic chai masala. Let's say I'm an e-commerce product I'm working on a marketing team you want to do some campaigns and I just want some of those stage photo shoots but I don't have a budget for it so what I can do I can feed this prompt hit create and let's see what mock-up images we get this is the result we get it even has the words because I know like having words was a bit of a challenge for early models, but I think now they're getting better. It can actually get words to be written on these things as well. This is incredible. Of course, Midjourney can probably do the same as well, but if you don't wanna pay for an image generation tool, I would say this is the best free option that is out there. And you might wanna try Leonardo.ai as well if you're not happy with the results you're getting from Bing. And finally, it's time for one of my favorite tools, which can create logos for AI. So I've tried a whole bunch of different tools to create logos, but I think this is my favorite so far. And the best part is it's actually free like 100% free. It's not asking you to upgrade after to extract the files or to upgrade to a different plan for your old branding and everything. Let's let's give it a shot. It's called recraft.ai. It is an image AI image generation tool. You can do illustrations, you can do icons and logos. So far, at least with what I've tried, with the prompts I've used, logo creation has been the best for one of the apps that I have running. The logo was generated using this app. So once you get to the canvas, once you're logged in, you're going to see a window like this. This tool is going to generate vector images, which means the images and the results that are generated can actually be edited within this software or other softwares which are prominent for graphic design. So what we're going to do is create a vector image and we're going to go here and select the type of vector image we want. So the options are vector art, icons, logos. We're going to go with the logo because that's what we're trying to do in this video. And uh, we will just type a very simple prompt. We're just going to be describing our industry. We're just going to use a coffee shop as an example and we're going to give it a name. So these are the only two things it needs. It doesn't need any like long prompt or or anything else for it to start working. So it's gonna call it Platform 7, which is a local coffee shop in Vancouver, just using this as an example. And let's see what we get. This is the logo we're getting from that simple prompt. So it has a couple of variations in the color as has one logo with the name and one just like you would use for printing package materials and all that stuff. If you're not happy with the logo, you can play around with the prompt a little bit or you can just hit recraft over and over again and it will generate you a new logo every single time. But if you're not happy with the results, I would encourage you to to be a bit more descriptive about your industry, you know, niche down even further. If it's a coffee shop, you know, like organic coffee shop or fair trade coffee shop or whatever that might be, keep playing around with it. You know, it doesn't cost you anything. If you're not ready to hire a graphic designer just yet, I think it's a really, really good start for you to at least ideate on the new project you're working on. Or even as a graphic designer, you can use this for ideation just to come up with some cool concepts, cool ideas, because it can spark a new way of thinking. But yeah, once you're done, you can go here on the top right corner with export and you can export in one of these file formats and you can also change the resolution of the file you're generating and if you want to edit this further you can just take the svg file and add it to figma or what have you and you should be able to customize it even further or you can add it to like you know a photoshop tool and stuff and work with that on the platform so leave a like if you think this was useful and subscribe if you want to know more tech and ai tips see you next time